Hi guys, welcome to DIY Tuesday. I'm Sarah, you've seen me a couple times, so I'm back. Uh, and today I'm here to make another personal care recipe. We are going to make a lip balm. So this lip balm is actually called our spoken word lip balm. Uh, it comes in our autumn DIY kit, so we are making another recipe out of there. And it does have those cute stickers. So this is what we will be making today. Uh, you can put them in little lip balm tubes like this. Uh, but before we start, you know we always have a giveaway. So for today's giveaway, make sure you are sharing our video, liking, commenting. Um, I'll ask you a bunch of questions so you'll have lots to say. Uh, and we will be um, giving out a personal care essential life or essential living kit. So these are really awesome for classes, things like that, because they come with all sorts of great materials that um, work well for a class. So that's 11 waterproof labels, 10 table tent recipe cards, 10 personal care worksheets and recipes, um, a flyer with instructions for you and tips and things like that, um, as well as a digital e-bite. So if you want to send out an email or send it out through you know, Instant Messenger or whatever you like to do, you can have that. So we'll be giving away one of these, again, perfect for our class, and it goes right along with today's recipe because it is personal care. So one more thing, you guys know and love our autumn DIY kit, so we are having a sale on this right now. So it starts now and it goes until tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So make sure you go online, buy this, it's 50% off, so that's a steal, now's your time to get it. So, go online, buy this, this is the best, this is where today's recipe is coming from. So it is our autumn DIY kit. Okay, so as I said, we are making our spoken word lip balm today, and um, it's a pretty easy one. So a couple things go in here, we have our shea butter, um, which you can actually buy on our website. Uh, we have beeswax, you can buy that on our website as well. And then I just bought some store-bought honey where you can put that in there as well. So we do not sell this, but we're guessing you have that at home. So how you're gonna start is you're going to use your tablespoon, and it's going to be two tablespoons of beeswax. So um, if you're noticing right now, I am putting it into a, a liquid measuring cup. Uh, you can also put them into maybe a microwave-safe bowl, or you can actually do this recipe on the stove. So it doesn't matter, it works either way. I'm actually gonna micro this because it's a pretty quick way to do it. And the awesome thing about this is it has a little spout on it so I can pour it right into my lip balm tubes when I'm done. So it makes things a little bit easier. Uh, but as I said, we've made uh, lip balm tubes and things like that in the past and we've done it in a pan and that works great as well. So whether you decide to do it in a pan or in a microwave safe um, liquid measuring cup, both work. Okay, now I'm going for a, oops, sorry, I'm going for a tablespoon of our shea butter. So this one's a little bit tough to scoop out, so hopefully I don't make too big of a mess. But I'm going to do one tablespoon of shea butter and put it in with my beeswax. So once I'm done measuring the shea butter, the honey, and the beeswax out, I'm going to put it in the microwave. And this is one of those where it should take about a minute overall to microwave, but you kind of need to watch it and make sure that it's not bubbling over or that it's not, you know, too hot. So what I like to do is put it in for a little while, pull it out, mix it, put it back in, that kind of a thing. Okay, so now I've got my tablespoon of shea butter. It's kind of a hard one to get out. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to do my tablespoon of honey. Kind of slow. Maybe. Okay. So there's my tablespoon of honey. And then I'm going to pour that in here. Maybe use a spoon to get it out because it's a little bit sticky. Okay. I've got most of it out. Most of it is good enough. So that's ready to go. And I'm going to put it in the microwave for a couple seconds. And let that go. So I'm going to start with 15 seconds. We're going to let that go. Okay, so talking about personal care, there are tons of places, tons of resources for you to get personal care recipes, okay? So as you guys know, 
We have our autumn DIY kit, tons of personal care recipes in there, um, and recipes for them. We also have our personal care DIY class kit, which we're giving away today in our giveaway. Um, tell us, for those of you that already have this DIY kit, what is your favorite recipe from it? Um, and if you don't have this DIY kit, let us know what's your favorite DIY recipe for personal care that you've done on your own. So, tell us that. I'm going to pull this out and give it a little stir. It started to melt a teeny bit. Um, and then some other resources. We have, uh, oftentimes we have recipes in our lookbook. Um, it's not very melted yet. Uh, and then we also have tons of recipes for DIY uh, personal care in the Essential Life as well. Uh, so I pulled out the Essential Life 4th edition, which hopefully most of you have gotten your hands on already. Let's do 20 seconds. Um, and in here there's a whole section for personal care recipes as well. So I've bookmarked it. For those of you who don't know where it is, you can find it on page 426. And there's even more personal care recipes for you. So if you really love our DIYs and you love all these recipes that are lip balms and face scrubs and masks and things like that, I would definitely recommend looking into all of these awesome real life resources to find more recipes. Okay. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Uh, in today's lip balm, we are using lime, lemon, lavender and frankincense. So those are some of my faves. I really love the citrusy and I think it helps um, kind of brighten your mouth. I think the citrus is good for that. Um, and so it is called the spoken words lip balm. So this is great for if you do a lot of public speaking or teaching classes, things like that. Um, so if there are oils that you use in your daily life that help you with public speaking and teaching and things like that, uh, what oils are those for you. Um, I know a lot of people like the citrus oils because they are so like bright and energizing. So let's do 20 more seconds. We're almost there. So as I said, we are doing a giveaway today. All you have to do is share this video, like it, and comment for entries to win, and we will be giving away a personal care kit. Okay? Um, what is your favorite DIY that we have done lately? Um, and what's one that you want to see in the future? Let us know. Okay. And we are pretty much done melting this. As you can see, it is pretty liquidy in here. And so now it's time to add your oils. Um, you do have to add them pretty quick because it does start to set. So I'm going to start with lime. I'm gonna do two drops of lime. Two. Next, I'm going to do four drops of lemon. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to do five drops of lavender. I love how lavender smells. One, two, three, four, five. And then lastly, I'm going to do three drops of frankincense. One, two, three. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to stir it up. And then once I feel like that's all stirred in, it's time to pour into your little lip balm tubes. So as you can see, I've kind of already prepared mine. What I did was I pulled off the caps and I had them open, ready to go so that when I'm all set to pour, they're easy. So as you can see, it has a little spout. I can just pour them right in. Pour as close as you can to the top without totally going over the top. So as you can see, I'm using our white lip balm tubes right now, but when I made this recipe yesterday to test it out, I used the clear ones. So it doesn't matter what color you use. Um, we sell a bunch of different types here at Oil Life. You can actually find the link to those in our description for this video. So you can pick your faves. We even have some that have cute, um, like rainbow color lids. So if you like that, you can. Almost done. Okay. 
Okay. Last one. Oh, went a little bit over the top with that one. Okay. Anyways, you can actually clean them right up afterwards um, when it's all dry. As you can see, it does have a little bit extra. So if you want to do more than six, you can. But it does fill six lip balms, and we do sell these tubes in packs of six. So kind of works out. Um, as you can see, these ones I finished yesterday, I let them set for about an hour. And you can just pull off the cap, and then they twist up. You can just twist them. So kind of fun. As I said, let them set about an hour. They should be ready to go. And whether you want to keep them all for yourself, give them out to your family, or give them to friends at uh, parties or workshops or whatever you want to do, these are awesome. So that's all I have for you today. Again, leave us a comment below uh, for a chance to win our personal care DIY class kit and shop our sale for our autumn DIY kit. Everything is, not everything, our DIY kit is 50% off today. Um, so it's 24 hours. It'll close at 2 p.m. tomorrow. So get that. Um, make this recipe and let us know how it goes. Thanks guys. See you later.